So the bow and lean are what we call differential tests. They're not the test to say you have horizontal canal. That's the roll test. But sometimes people are like, which ear is it? I can't tell which side the nystagmus is stronger. These are differentials. So the bow and lean is you have the patient in sitting and they tuck the head down and you're looking to see if if they had a geotropic nystagmus, if they had a geotropic nystagmus in the roll test in the bow, they'll, it'll create another nystagmus and it'll be towards the affected ear. So if I go like this and it's my right ear, I'll have a, a nystagmus towards my uh, right ear. And then when I do the lean, it'll switch directions. So bow and lean, and then there's sit to supine. And sit to supine follows the rules for lean, where they're in sitting and they go back. And if it was geotropic nystagmus, it'll be, let's see, if it's geotropic nystagmus, it'll be away from the affected ear. And if it's ageotropic towards, so those are differentials. Just like the null plane test is a differential between horizontal canal and light cupola. So what you do is in the roll test, here's the middle. You turn the head to the right. If you can't get the head to the right, because the goal is to get the ear down, roll onto the right side, because it's all about getting the ear down. So there's the roll right, left, middle, and then the null point is a about 20 to 25 degrees, or as Kim said, there's a study that's 15 to 95, but um, we're going to say 20 to 25 degrees. If it's BPPV, it'll keep going. If it's the null point for light cupola, it'll stop. 